Which you guys got another video here for you on a free alternative to the Windows 11 start menu. Now, if you're not a big fan of the Windows 11 start menu, then this video is for you. Now, we all know there is paid options like start all back. And also we've got start 11, which is paid versions. They're not a lot of money, but some people don't want to pay and they want a free option. So if you're one of those people that don't like the Windows 11 start menu, that don't want to splash any cash on it, then you can use something like OpenShell, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. So OpenShell is open source, and it's a carry-on from a classic shell when that ceased to exist. But before we do any of that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the link in the video description. You can use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD key sales. Once you create your account, you can pay by PayPal and they will send you your key and you'll be able to activate your version of Windows, just like so, as you can see on the screen. Check the links in the video description. Anyway, back to the tutorial. What we're gonna do is head over to GitHub and download OpenShell. So like I said, OpenShell is a continuation of Classic Shell when Classic Shell basically give up support for it and they stop working on that project. So this person has taken over and it's now continued it. So it is free software, you can download it, and uh, I'll leave the link in the video description. Once you download it and install it on your system, you will see something looking like this during the installation process. Now, of course, this is 100% free, no adverts or anything like that installed on here. You can choose from three options here, classic style, classic style with two columns, or Windows 7 style. So you can choose which any of these you like, and then you can customize it. You can select the skin right here, and then skin options are available here. So let's go ahead and choose the classic skin here. And what we'll do is we'll apply this and okay it. And there is tons of skins to choose from. This is just the base, basic skin here. And you can see it's just a pretty basic looking skin, but you can change this to whatever you like. And there's plenty of them to choose from on their website. You can use the classic shell, uh, skins and they will work perfectly fine on open shell so you can see here all of the options are available here i can change this again to something else here and let me just quickly customize this a little bit and i'll show you another one but again you can get the little pop outs here and change all of this to your own liking you can add and remove whatever you like so you can change the color here as well and again there's loads to choose from so if you have more time than I have, you can spend a bit more time customizing it to your liking because it is fully customizable. And what I'm going to do here is I'll go through some of these here and show you. And then what we'll do is we'll download a skin and add it to this and I'll get it sort of customized a little bit so you can see what the end results are like. So there's another one right here and you can get skins to change all of the color schemes so you can get this all tied in with the same color theme that you're having on your computer or on your desktop. So let me quickly go ahead and change uh, this again. And again, we've got this look here. And again, these can all be customized and change the colors as well. And it's just a much more simpler uh, menu system than what uh, Microsoft have already for Windows 11. And this is a lot more easier to navigate around. So once you find one you like and get it set up, I can assure you it will be a lot easier to use Windows 11 with this particular type of menu system. Now, because this software has been out for a very long time, there is tons of skins to choose from on DeviantArt and on the OpenShell or Classic Shell website. You can download them from there. And there is tons to choose from. There really is. And you can make it your own and you can change the start button and you can get the, uh, the actual taskbar nice and uh, transparent if you want to or opaque, whatever you want to set yours as. So let's go ahead and quickly look at the last one here for uh, this one here. And I'll quickly set this up so you can see it. And this is for this option here. And that's quite a nice little option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly download uh, a skin here and we'll get this skin added in as well. And again, you can add all of your options into this menu by going into the configuration here as well. And you can also change the taskbar color to whatever color you like here. And you can have it, like I said, to glass, transparent or opaque. And once you tie this in with the actual menu itself, there's plenty of start buttons and menus and other stuff on their actual website where you can download these for free 
and install them on your system. This is the website here, Classic Shell. All of the stuff on here will work with OpenShell. So you can see Classic Shell forward slash OpenShell start menu and Windows 11. There's tons of stuff on here. Have a good read up and uh, you can download some stuff for yourself and basically get it set up into something that really does look pretty nice. I'll just show you one here so you can see how easy it is. I'm going to download this one right here because I like the look of it and it does look pretty nice. So let's go ahead and I'll download this. You don't have to register or anything like that. And I'm just going to drop that uh, skin into the skins folder inside programs files. It's very simple. And once you've done that, you can go back to the program itself and then open it up. And then you can choose that skin, which we've just put in here. So let me just quickly shut this down here and open it back up. So you can see, going to save this here and quickly reopen and it should appear inside there. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into the menu, open shell and then open shell start menu here. Now choose the XP Royale and uh, you can choose here whatever one you want. And there's uh, four of them to choose from there. And again, this is fully customizable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and you already see that's the blue effect and you can get the blue uh, taskbar to suit. And if you're onto the uh, dark theme and stuff like that, you can set that up as well. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let me just show you that one. That's a nice silvery sort of uh, color there. I do like that. And uh, you can get your taskbar set up as well. So I'm going to quickly get this set up into dark mode and set this up with a nice darker skin so you can see exactly what it looks like. Uh, so I've done all of this right now. It didn't take that long to do, uh, you know, a couple of minutes and it's all done. And there we have a much more cleaner, nicer looking Windows 11 start menu compared to what you're getting with Windows 11, in my personal opinion. It's much more easier to navigate. And I'm pretty sure that if you give it a go, uh, you will uh, say goodbye to the original Windows 11 start menu altogether. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below and whether you found some decent skins for OpenShell, I'll be happy to read your comments. Also, let me know in the comments section below whether you want to see any more free options which are available for Windows 11 start menu. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Just want to wish everyone a happy Easter and I hope you have a nice Easter weekend. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.